oh, route boy. right now. Not doing the weather, though. <laughs> Mike is there to talk to the amazing people that are out there on the it's Canada good to, Heroes. It's yes. good to see him outside the studio every once in a while. There we go. How's it going, Mike? How's it looking out there? <laughs> Thanks, Anthony, Asia. It's great. You know, the energy here is starting to build. We're almost getting kicked off here. Looks like we're starting to see some of the parade coming down the Canyon of Heroes right now. We are at Broadway and Morris Street in Lower Manhattan. And as you can see now, the parade is getting kicked off. Fortunately, we are in the shade right now. And uh, this is actually going to probably pay off to be a good deal because we are not expecting to see uh, that sun come up through these buildings at my location here. You got to see this group right here. The, this group has awesome signs right here. We have Eileen and we have Bernadette, right? And they are. That's what's up, right? And we have uh, healthcare workers in your families, right? I have so nurses, doctors, and I'm a pharmacist from Staten Island. I've vaccinated and I've mixed at City Fields. And you have connections with Long Island, right? As yes, well? I formerly worked in Farmingdale and Long Beach. I love Long Island. So, what does this parade mean to you as a healthcare worker, as one of our heroes that we're celebrating today? Well, it means a lot to know that the city of New York is recognizing everybody for their hard work and dedication, healthcare workers, MTA workers, New York City. Department of Health Workers. Thank you so much, you guys, for chatting with me. 